In a major embarrassment for Pakistan, Pakistan's foreign minister has admitted that no arms sales agreement was signed with Libyan army but only a memorandum of understanding was signed, and it is to be noted that over 80% of MOUs signed by Pakistan historically fail to translate into actual contracts. Pakistan is trying to rehabilitate the chief of United Liberation Front of Assam to Bangladesh, from his current hideout in China. For the first time, the Indian Air Force has revealed the first official glimpse of the S-400 air defense launcher system in active service. Hyderabad-based Apollo Microsystems Limited has secured new defense orders worth over 100 crore rupees for the supply of unmanned aerial systems, that is scheduled to be executed within four months. The Indian president undertook a sea sortie aboard INS Vagsir, India's sixth and final Calvary-class submarine, accompanied by the chief of naval staff and senior Indian Navy officials. The Indian Air Force has quietly shelved its long-standing plan to acquire six additional C-130J Super Hercules aircraft for special forces operations, and the decision reflects changing procurement priorities, with resources now being redirected toward the upcoming medium transport aircraft tender. The Indian Army has indigenized 159 of its 175 ammunition variants, achieving nearly 91% self-reliance and sharply reducing dependence on imports. Of the remaining 16 ammunition types, indigenous production has begun for several critical bullets rockets and missiles. South Korean authorities have claimed that Korean counter-intelligence agencies blocked unauthorized attempts in 2023 by entities from India and Taiwan to access the country's air-independent propulsion submarine technology. Officials confirmed that no sensitive technology was leaked, and following the incident, South Korea tightened security measures, including mandatory training for companies working on AIP systems. Neither India and Taiwan has responded to the allegations so far. The Rajasthan High Court has cleared the way for the Indian Air Force to build a new airbase near the India-Pakistan border, dismissing petitions filed by landowners challenging the land acquisition. The court rejected allegations of procedural lapses, ruling that the objections were attempts to obstruct a project of critical national security importance. The forward composite aviation base will be established around 40 kilometers from the international border, enabling rapid deployment of fighter jets towards key Pakistani air bases. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is expected to receive the sixth F-404 engine in the second week of January for the Tejas Mark 1A program, with the seventh engine also likely to arrive later in the month. These deliveries will ease engine availability, which has been a key constraint on Tejas Mark 1A aircraft assembly and flight activity. The Aeronautical Development Agency has issued a detailed statement of work for the design and engineering of the AMCA's front fuselage, marking a shift toward prototype realization. The scope includes complete structural design, systems integration, and engineering validation of the forward fuselage, covering the cockpit and interfaces with adjoining sections. The statement of work confirms that the AMCA program has entered the detailed engineering phase, that typically precedes tooling design, prototype manufacturing, and structural test article fabrication. According to latest reports, India is developing the K-5 MIRF-capable submarine-launched ballistic missile as a pure second-strike weapon, aligned with its no-first-use nuclear doctrine. Planned for deployment on future S-5 class SSPN, the K-5 carries two-ton payload, and is capable of delivering thermonuclear warheads. With heavy payloads, its operational range is assessed at around 5,000 km, while lighter configurations have reportedly demonstrated ranges exceeding 8,000 km during tests, significantly enhancing India's sea-based nuclear deterrence. India's fourth nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine S-4 Star is now likely to be inducted in late 2027, a one-year delay from earlier projections of late 2026 and the slippage reflects the complexity of integrating advanced indigenous technologies on strategic platforms. The S-4 Star is a 7,000-ton sister vessel of the S-4, which is expected to be commissioned in early 2026. 
This delay is attributed to extended validation of new subsystems, including refined reactor components and integrated combat management systems. Today's top 3 comments. Thank <laughs> you.